A follower has very kindly sent me his Molly Weasley wand to copy, so I'm going to make one for my wand wheel, and also in return I'm going to make him a version. Molly's wand wood is unknown, but I'm going to choose oak because A, I think that's what they've copied here. As you can see here, the grain sort of looks quite similar, so I'm going to use oak. It's also quite a nice, hearty, English strong wood, so perfect for Molly. But now I've got to let that stain dry before I can apply a sanding sealer. But in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. So we'll finish this one off. So I like to give it just a quick denib, just because all the uh, the grains are sort of the fibres have stuck out since drying. Then once that's lovely and smooth, I'll just add some wax. Then once that's done, I'll just bring up the reference wand, light up my saw, and just part that off. So that's Molly Weasley's wand done. So I'm actually really happy with how well the, the colour matching came out. And also the grain, if you look at, so obviously this one's the, the resin one, this one's real oak. And I suspect it's because I think the first two films, they actually made all the wands out of wood and they were all really simple designs. So I suspect this one didn't get changed basically in the, in the later films. So that's probably why it matches up so well. Anyway, let's add it. Right, so Molly's wand is now on the display. You can see it's a bit dusty because it lives in the workshop. Next up, if anyone has Dolores Umbridge's wand or Arthur Weasley's wand and would like to swap it for a real wood version, please message me and I'll try and do those wands next.